What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. Tonight I'm going to head over to Judge's Shack and photograph the Geminid Meteor Shower. And uh, I'm really excited just because I've never done this before because in the past um, either the weather wasn't cooperating or I had a conflicting schedule, but I'm free tonight. And even though the peak was last night, it should still be really good. Uh, right now it's currently raining, but it's supposed to clear up between eight and nine o'clock. And I only have to stay out for a couple hours just to get some really nice meteors. What I'm going to do is run a time lapse with my two cameras and try and capture as much as possible so let me just go over some of the gear that I plan on using tonight and explain to you guys uh, what I plan on doing so right here we have my z6 and the 50 millimeter lens and I plan on just aiming that at the Gemini constellation and trying to get as many uh, shooting stars as possible with a time lapse with that camera and then with my Z7, I plan on doing a selfie shot with me holding this flash and photographing the shack and doing about one thirds of the foreground and two thirds sky with my 20 millimeter 1.8 S lens. Now I'm testing out this new uh, MagMod light. This has been around for a while now. And it's pretty cool, it uses magnets to attach different accessories that go on the light. So let me uh, put the camera down and show you guys really quick. All right, so we got this piece right here that attaches to the light, and these are the two magnets, and then this just goes on like that. You could change out gels really quickly. Um, and I also have this other piece right here, which should diffuse the light a little bit more, and in case I need it for tonight. The well, only downside is it's very top heavy, so the light could come down pretty easily. But for what we're using it for tonight, it's not an issue. I'm just gonna be holding this like this. And then I got my pocket wizards that are going to help me trigger this. And I also plan on using the Unleashed on my Z7 and using my phone to trigger the shots when I'm standing there in front of the shack. So, so that's the game plan for tonight. Um, it is going to get pretty cold, so I also have a couple warmers for my lenses and the batteries. And now I'm just packing up some warm weather gear because it is going to get to freezing around midnight and then even colder, uh, I think, into the 20s tonight. So I'm definitely going to be prepared just in case if I have to stay out longer, depending on the clouds, if they don't clear up until later. You know how the weather goes. It constantly shifts on me, so uh, better be safe than sorry. And yeah, so that's the game plan. So I'm gonna finish packing up and I'll see you guys at Seaside. All right, so I'm almost at the entrance to Island Beach State Park and the hours are from sunrise to sunset. Unless you're fishing, then you can go in at night. Um, I want to get here while it's still daylight. That way I could get in without any issues. Although the guy might be a little suspicious since it is raining and crappy out. But I brought my fishing pole and some, some uh, tackle this time because for those that have watched my older vlogs, there was one where I forgot to bring some type of tackle because normally they don't ask and the guy wouldn't let me in. So hopefully he does now since I have all the equipment I need. Uh, and like I said, that's just a backup because I am here during daylight hours, so it shouldn't be an issue. But you never know, he might just give me a hard time just because of the weather. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna tell him that's supposed to clear up later. So let's see what happens. How you doing? I'm good. You coming in? Yes. How much is it? Five dollars. Five dollars? All right. Perfect. I have just the right amount. <laughs> you go. Thank, Thank you. Much. Have a good one. All right. So it was just a sweet old lady, and I didn't have to worry about it. So. Uh, I have my fishing pole for later tonight though in case a ranger or somebody drives up and you know when it gets dark out and starts bugging me at least I could put this out uh, while I'm taking pictures and that way I cover my bases. Alright so here we are and I actually think I parked a little further down than I needed to. I might have to go back one lot over, but uh, I just wanted to walk out here and check it out. 
still lightly raining, but it should uh, come to an end soon. That was a really cool and creepy little path right there. So I'll have to keep that in mind for some uh, pictures in the future. I'm already a little cold, so I'm glad I brought some extra layers. And it doesn't help that I'm getting wet either. sky right now and of course the GoPro is starting to crap out because it's getting too cold so I'm going to be vlogging on my Nikon and I'm not going to use any type of mic setup right now uh, so if the audio is not that great I apologize but it's just going to make my life a little easier with all the gear that I have to carry so I'm going to start heading out there Joe should be here shortly in like a couple hours so um, I'm just going to start setting up and I'll explain everything when I get there All right, so hopefully you guys could hear me and it's not too windy. I apologize if it is, but I finished setting up my Z7 over there and I have a nice composition, which is going to work really well once I incorporate myself into the photo with the flash. I just have to wait for it to get a little darker, but I am gonna do some foreground shots right now. And that way I have a nice clean image that I can blend with my uh, selfie shot images. And then once Joe gets here and he does his shots, then I'm going to start doing a time lapse with that camera as well. And that's going to capture all the meteors tonight. So I gotta make sure I don't bump or move that camera at all. And then I'll show you guys in a separate video on how I blend all those images together to create that photo. So far, the weatherman is pretty accurate. Uh, the clouds are starting to clear up and they're blowing out the sea. I just need them to keep going a little further because I do have to photograph east. Uh, I think Gemini is rising north northeast and then as the night progressive it's going to be more and more east and uh, even southeast a little bit. So that's the direction I'm facing in. So I believe around 10 o'clock is going to be in the prime spot of where I have my uh, camera located and facing. So I'm really excited that things are starting to work out. It's a little cold, a little windy, but you know, we deal with the elements here when we're doing night and landscape photography. It is what it is. And I can't wait to show you guys what I captured. 